welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be back with you today. And today we're gonna be talking about intuitive eating. And if you've never heard of intuitive eating, just know I haven't either. I'm totally kidding, I have. Now, you guys might be hearing the words intuitive eating kind of like here and there, like over Instagram maybe, over YouTube, over other places, and you're like, what the heck is intuitive eating? So intuitive eating is probably not what you think it is. It's not another diet fad, it's not a trend, it's not something that is gonna be a weight loss strategy or a program that you are going to need to lose weight really quick for your wedding or something like that. Intuitive eating is more of a lifestyle. It's something that is actually more fun because you don't have to diet and it's not something that is going to be excruciating every time you wanna try to eat something that you love. So if you are here and you have been dieting for so freaking long that you are just sick and tired of dieting, you're in the right place because this is a place of freedom. This is a space where we're gonna learn about how to have freedom around food and make it way more enjoyable because that is what we want and that is how we're gonna live our life long-term anyways, so we might as well start enjoying what we're eating and not being afraid of food. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys today is about rejecting the diet mentality. The diet mentality is basically teaching you how to either starve yourself or <laughs> deprive yourself or make you feel like you just can't eat enough so you end up binge eating all your favorite foods because you're so sick of dieting and you just can't do it any longer. So this is what we want to avoid. So we want to throw out the diet books, we want to start new, we want to start living in food freedom. A lot of times if you go on a diet, you'll realize that probably within a couple of weeks to a month, you start going, I'm sick of this. Like. This isn't a lifestyle, this isn't something I can do long term because if it is, then I'm not really going to be enjoying my life. I can't go out to you know, dessert and I can't go out to eat with my family. I can't go on vacation without worrying about like what's around me and kind of freaking out about what I even eat on my trip. Diets are short term and they're good for people that are trying to lose weight for an event or something like that, but it's not good long term. Another thing about intuitive eating is we get to honor our hunger cues. We get to honor our fullness. So say you're sitting there and you're eating and you reach that point of like, okay, like, I've eaten enough, I feel like I'm comfortable right now. If you eat slow enough, because it takes about 20 minutes to realize you're full, if you eat slow enough, you will realize that you've already eaten quite a lot. So if you can sit back and just take a breath and put your fork down and just realize that you've just satiated all kinds of goodness, then you won't feel the need to overeat or binge because you're gonna realize that you're satisfied. Your body starts to give you hunger cues and your body starts to give you fullness cues. So a part of the fullness cues is your body is telling you, hey, I'm full, I'm good, I don't need any more food. And that's where we want to get you to listen to that because that is the most important cue. So honoring your hunger is the opposite. Basically it's like, oh, I haven't eaten in a few hours and your body's starting to tell you like, oh, I'm hungry. So what's important to do in that sense is not to wait way too long to eat because that's gonna put you in a kind of a starvation mode and we don't want your body to do that. We wanna keep your metabolism running. We want your body to be running its proper way. So you're gonna be fueling your body with the foods you eat and if you don't have fuel, then your body's not gonna run properly. You have to fill your car up with gas for it to go anywhere. It's the same thing with food. Another thing about intuitive eating is to make peace with food because a lot of times in the diet mentality, we basically become the food police of our lives. We just say, well, I think that that cookie is gonna make me fat, <laughs> you know, or it's gonna make me feel, it's gonna set me back like a whole week and I just can't do that because we're stuck in the diet mentality. So if you learn over time, portion control moderation, which takes time sometimes because obviously like we go on these diets because we want an easy fix. So if you're trying to get out of chronic dieting and you're trying to transition into a lifestyle where it's more free, this is what you'll have to start practicing. Everything we put in the bad category, say like sugar, um, carbs, all of those things, we can still eat that. It's just not a lot, you know what I mean? So what I do for myself is I break it up into percentages. I do 80-20 or I do, if I'm feeling that day, I want 60-40. If I want like a, a brownie that day, I will have a brownie. I'm not gonna deprive myself of the brownie if I want one but I also try not to have a lot of these things because that's all a part of listening to your body if you're already transitioning into intuitive eating you don't want to eat bad you don't want to always be eating bad because you're already trying to heal your body 
And if you're focusing on healing your body, then you're not gonna choose the worst foods for you. So if you guys actually notice, a lot of times what we do is we feed our emotion, okay? There are times when I want that freaking brownie. If I'm having a stressful day in general, I genuinely want a freaking brownie. But there's also those times where I go, okay, well, did I have a brownie yesterday? Did I have one earlier? Okay, I can't have more of that. So you kind of just develop this conscious mind around food. You kind of develop this like, okay, well, I had that yesterday or had that today earlier or I had it a couple of days ago, so I'm gonna choose something more healthy but sweet instead of the brownie. So for instance, there's fruit. But if you guys are like me, you come up with recipes that you can also enjoy that's somewhat of a brownie. It's basically made from dates. By nature, when we are born as babies, we come out crying. We know exactly what we want. We want food. <laughs> and we will cry until we get it. So if you really think about it, you were born with that. And over time, our society has suppressed that little cue that says, hey, I'm hungry, or hey, I'm not getting enough food, or something like that. So we tend to binge eat because we're feeding our emotions. So oftentimes, we look at our bodies as a negative thing. So we decide, well, I don't like my love handles, and I don't like the thigh gap. So what am I gonna go do? I'm going to develop a diet, which oftentimes a high percentage of dieting turns into some kind of eating disorder because we we become obsessed and it's working and we look good. And just so you know, like sometimes when I get a compliment that I look thin or whatever, and it's been a while because I love food, but when I've gotten that in the past, it felt good. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, like you thinking I'm skinny was just like, no, that's. I don't, I don't like that. You know what I mean? Like, thanks for the compliment, but no, you suck. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. I was thinking, oh my gosh, like, thank you. Like, oh my God, <laughs> I look so good. But actually what, what it is is I wasn't healthy and I wasn't eating enough. And so you put your body into a calorie deficit, which is like a long-term thing. Your body's gonna wig out, okay? Over time, if you're, especially if you're counting macros and all those things, you're gonna develop this issue where, so let's say you've been tracking your macros on my fitness pal. Let's say at like 7 p.m. You've already hit your macros for the day, right? But you're still hungry. For some reason, you're still hungry and then you don't honor your body and you don't eat. What that's going to do is set your metabolism off and it's going to cause you to go into a fat storing stage. So you don't want that. It also messes with your hormones and all of these other things. So for me, intuitive eating is the best thing for me. Like I can choose that day if I want more vegetables in my diet or if I want more fruit. And normally I try to live like this way where I, I know what I'm taking in. I don't have to write it down anymore. I just have learned over time what I need to be incorporating in my, in my diet. For instance, if I feel crappy, it's probably because I'm eating crappy and I need to change my diet. So for a while there, um, like let's say a couple weeks, I've gotten off the, I've gotten off track, right? Started drinking a frappuccino from Starbucks. I started eating a couple more cookies, whatever it is. And then I go to like In-N-Out, let's say, and get a double-double. You guys are probably freaking out right now because <laughs> this is actually something I've done, okay? This is what I do sometimes. So I will do though that and I'll have a few bad days, I'll have a few bad weeks, and then I'll be like feeling like crap, like seriously, like, like I hate my life like that. So I go, what have I been eating? And then if you track back, I mean, you can look at your bank statement and you just go, oh, like if you don't use cash, you can go or look at your receipts and you just go, wow, like, okay, that's what I've been eating and that's why I feel like this. So it's really just about honoring your body and your mind and it's really about coming to know yourself and trusting your body again. That's what intuitive eating is. So lastly, I just wanna to talk to you guys about honoring your health, okay? This is a big one because oftentimes when we're just focusing on weight loss, which a lot of us women do, but that's because of our society and that's the way our culture is, we have to be thin to look good. I'm so over that crap, you guys. Like, I am not thin, okay? Like, I've got, I'm like really buff, but I have bat wings right here. Like, I'm just saying, I'm in my 30s now, I'm over the whole I need to be super, super thin thing. That is, that's gone, okay? Now what I'm focusing on is my inner health. Do I feel good? Am I getting winded when I walk upstairs? Do I feel like I'm constantly dehydrated? Do I feel like my poop is weird every day? Do I feel like I can't wake up in the morning or I can't fall asleep at night? These are the things that you guys should be asking yourselves, not what you weigh. You don't jump on the scale and you decide if you're healthy or not. 
Your scale isn't going to tell you your worth. It's not gonna tell you if you're healthy. It's not gonna tell you any of that. It's basically going to make you feel like a big fat pile of poo. So here's the thing, because I love you guys so much and I wanna share my heart with you. I know what it's like, okay? I know what it's like because I wanted to be this super confident girl since I saw a girl in junior high that I really looked up to as like body image wise. So I put myself through a lot of different things. I put myself through the ringer and if you guys are there, I totally get it, I totally understand. And if you guys are needing someone as an accountability partner, someone to help you gain more confidence to lose the weight that you wanna lose without being unhealthy, and you wanna live a life around food with freedom and you want to enjoy your body and get healthier, I'm here for you. I'm going to leave my contact information below so you guys can connect with me. And I am telling you 100% you can find freedom. So if you are ready to live a life of freedom around food and you're just ready to like shift from dieting and binge eating to a life of freedom, then I am so ready to talk to you guys. I'm here for you. Reach out to me. Like I said, my, my information's below and I hope to connect with you girls. Just know that I'm here for you and I love you so much and I know what it's like. So I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a good day. Bye.